Okay, so for this question, we're given f of x, y, and z to be y cosine x, y sine x, and z. And first we're asked to calculate the divergence of f. So let's recall what exactly the divergence is. Well, it's the gradient dot f. So basically, It is the partial derivative with respect to x of the i component plus the partial derivative with respect to y of the j component plus the partial derivative with respect to z of the k component. So let's go ahead and calculate these. Start with the first term. So I want to take the derivative of y cosine x with respect to x. y is like a constant and the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So I end up with negative y sine of x. And then now let's take the partial derivative of y sine of x with respect to y. Well, sine of x is going to be treated like a constant. And then when I take the derivative, I'm just left with sine of x. And now the partial derivative of z with respect to z is pretty easy. That's just going to be 1. So I can combine my sine terms and get the divergence of f to be quantity 1 minus y sine of x plus 1. Now let's talk about the curl of f. So curl is the cross product of the gradient and f. So I like to think about it as taking the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. So you put i, j, and k on the top, and then the gradient function, which is just going to be the partial derivatives. And then you put the i, j, and k components of the function. So y cosine x, y sine x, and z. And then Let's go ahead and take these cross products. So to start with i, I'm going to think about like a cofactor expansion. I'm going to take the determinant of that 2 by 2 matrix. So I have the partial derivative of z with respect to y, which is going to be 0, minus the partial derivative of y sine x with respect to z which again is going to be 0. Now let's do j. So cut the middle column, and I'm going to have the partial derivative of z with respect to x, which is 0, minus the partial derivative of y cosine x with respect to z, which is again going to be 0. And then let's look at k. So cut the third column determinant of that 2 by 2 matrix. So I have the derivative of y sine x with respect to x. While y is a constant, the derivative of sine x is cosine x, so I'm looking at y cosine x. And then subtracting the derivative of y cosine x with respect to y, which is just going to be cosine x. So I can rewrite this as 0, 0, y minus 1 cosine x. And that's going to be my answer for the curl of f.